Good morning, hookers. How are you all? I know, look at me. I literally just got out of bed, okay? And this is my Rockstar Mega mask that without it, I don't think I would be able to sleep. But I woke up at five o'clock this morning and I was so inspired. And of course, what do we do? Into Facebook, that's it. And I spend quite a lot of time on the news feed so that I can like and comment and share the joy of all the wonderful things. And Mother's Day, God, it was special. I had a little party here for my grandnieces, grandniece and grandnephew, and my niece and my sister and my other little grandniece. I think that's what you call them, is it? I don't know. But anyway, I had a ball yesterday and we cooked a roast loin of pork and I made this apple and herb stuffing and it was beautiful. And the best part was fishing in a little basin of water with my little nephew. And that gave me a little inspiration. But what inspires me most and what has me up so early is Fanula and Sharon. And I hope you don't mind me singling you out, but can I just tell you that when I asked for people to give me an idea of whether this was working for them and that they were getting something from the need a hug, it took a lot of courage for you girls to, to reach out because you've been observers, positive observers. And I want to tell you that it has made a massive difference to me. And I want to share a really quick story. And I hope I don't run out of time because I know I can go on. But I want to share a story that makes me feel so amazing today. And it's about a starfish. I have things about starfish. I love them. Don't know why, but I do. And there was a story about a girl walking on the beach and the beach was covered in starfish. Unfortunately, it's not a good thing because they get washed up. But if the tide is delayed or tide doesn't come in on time and it's a really sunny day, they can get burnt up. So she was walking along and there was thousands of them. And she started to feel incredibly sad. And she said, oh my God, there's so many. What on earth? There's nothing I can do. What's the point? There's too many. But eventually, again, thanks to the divine interaction, she got inspired and realized that, well, right this minute, right now, I can make a difference. I can just pick up as many starfish as I can and return them back to the water. She concentrated on where she stood and her situation there and then. So she started picking up all, as many starfish as she possibly could and kept putting them back in the water and feeling and sending love to all the other starfish. It's all she could do, but the ones she could touch, the ones she could touch right there, right now, she did. This guy comes along and looks at her like she's a complete maniac and says, what on earth are you doing? And she says, I'm returning the starfish to the water. Well, that's hardly, you know, a point. What is the point? There's thousands of them, for God's sake. You're wasting your time. Go off and have a coffee and chill out. It's not going to make any difference. Like, look, how can you make a difference? There's thousands. And she picked up a little starfish, gave it a hug. That's the special need a hug part of this story. And she says, you think it doesn't make a difference? Well, it makes a difference to this starfish. And she put the starfish in the water. Well, Sharon and Fanula are my starfish right now. I am so proud and so honoured that you found it safe to share. It means everything to me. And you're very special in our group. And I want to thank you, Fanula. Day one, every day. I have to put in a, a funny part now. During the summer when the kids were small and I had all these plans that we were going to go picnicking up the canal and we were going to fish and we were going to do all sorts of fun things and you know once they were going to behave and on the first day of the holidays i come down to the, to the kitchen to find them arguing over cereal and they spilled cereal all over the floor and they were screaming at one another and i began to scream too and the scream was day one in other words we hadn't even started the holidays and they're driving me insane every now and again when we do that at home and i get cross the both of them start shouting Day one. Well, listen, girls and lads. Come on, one of you lads, one of you boys in here, come on and speak up now. Speak up and let's know that you're there because we did welcome you in. But anyway, this is day one. This is the day that everything can change. Everything can change for you. And I want to tell you, Sharon, I spent from 5 a.m. thinking of the workshop. And I know it's going to have the most amazing effect. And I need to do that video, Naive. I'm going to do it, about the M&Ms. But I want to send this one out this morning. And yeah, I put on lippy, because if you saw the state of me without it, 
but I didn't really wash my face. And, you know, I am a rock star. Yes, I am. But it takes one to know loads. And you're all rock stars in my eyes. Lots of love. Have a fabulous day. And keep posting gratitude.